Today's episode, I just want to share with you guys how we have date nights at home. This is an invention of mine. Obviously, we go out on dates, uh, go out on dinners and stuff like that. But sometimes you just want to do something creative in the house. Just basically having dinner with a bit of extra effort and then actually go out of my way to make a three-course meal or just a larger meal. And interesting things that we don't have every, 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 every time. Men deal with a lot of things, you know, they go out of the house, try to make everybody happy, providing. Obviously, these days, women also contribute, but your man is still your man and then you're still the feminine um, part of the family so it's always good to just make things cute sometimes on this night it was valentine's night and i just thought instead of us doing anything i could just be in the house and have a date night so i just got a bottle of wine the day before which you almost <laughs> drank to the end when i realized what i was cooking you're going to see in the video on valentine's morning we had um, breakfast just simple um, breakfast we had lunch at, at different times and then for dinner that's what this video is going to be after stuff like this you can watch a movie you can dance like we did and then make sure your sheets are fresh your bedroom is looking spicy you can put candles in the house just create a mood just to make things like cute so yeah enough rambling i'm just going to show you guys how i made a meal that day and then my valentine's this year was actually into two bits because i went on a spa night with a friend so that video is going to come after this one so i hope you enjoy this and i hope it inspires you to be a bit more creative with the simple things guys <laughs> Hi guys! Yay! I'm home now, about to whip up our February 14th celebration meal. Yeah, my name is Stephanie, I'm a London based content creator. Click the like button, subscribe to my channel, click the bell beside the subscribe button. And come along, let's make some romantic meal. So basically guys, today I want to make mashed potatoes, catfish pepper soup, real plantain and a bit of salad on the side. Just hope that will be nice. I've got candles, I've got a bottle of wine. Oh my god, he has already drank the part of the wine. But yeah, this is the wine I got for the celebration. Let's start. I'm going to peel the potatoes now and then just take you guys through the process. Okay, I'll set up my iPad. I really like catching up on YouTube while I'm cooking. I'm going to which is kind of as good as it gets. So I'm so excited. Awesome. And that was on my bucket list. So yeah, I'm going to be watching that while I cook. Forever. Cause I know I'll be living in vain. And I don't Just wanna keep calling your name until you come back home. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. I just wanna keep I haven't washed my ribeye steak, both of them. I'll just gonna show and then show you guys how I cut my plantain when I want to grill in the oven. So right now I'm slicing my Irish potato, just taking the back off with this utensil. Yeah. Then I'm putting it in really cold water. Yeah. I'm doing one, two, three, four, and another pack of four. So that's eight potatoes. Baby, baby, I feel crazy up all night, all night, and every day. Give me some. This is just the last one. Usually, some people actually use the um, back of the potatoes to make the mash, but I want it to be really soft, luscious, and creamy. I cut my potatoes into very little bits so it can boil quickly and then just start mashing. I just want to keep calling your name until you come back home. some salt in this um just a bit of salt i'll measure my brain to put some other obviously going to put some salt later but for now we're just going to put salt that would you know stay for while it's boiling that's about it i'm going to show you how i cut the plantain cut the tops off what does your 14 year old say about that? She thinks I'm not. 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 She
catfish pepper soup so maggie a bit of onions um pepper and um nutmeg and thyme i don't even use that pepper soup spice anymore these days because don't i'll use some parsley on top of it just for the greenery it comes out way way better yeah so that's my catfish pepper soup the pepper i have there is cameroon pepper i'll probably put just a bit of scotch bonnet um, at some point but for now i want it all seasoned i started with frying um, spring onions and some scotch bonnet in the beginning just flavored it a bit steamed it basically with very little water so as, as it sat for a while i did the potatoes and then came back to put the pepper nutmeg and thyme inside i'm going to cover it now just so that it's um, boils up a bit the light is very low my potato is boiling that needs to boil and be really good and then inside the oven i have my plantain and, and the ribeye steak and yeah I'll go back to handy so i really love to clean up while i'm cooking so while i'm waiting for this potato to boil i'm just going to be cleaning up all this mess <laughs> we'll probably set the table in it because we're about to be done we're about to be done i'm going to flip it to the other side and then put it back inside show you what the oven is looking like so i didn't mention to you but i've got corn as well and then my plantain is going real good i'm sitting eyes wide open and i get one thing stuck in my mind wondering if i dodged the bullet i just lost the love of my life just had a taste of the pepper soup and it tastes so good i think i'm going to put the parsley on it now and then just cover it up so it's just, just perfect like it says the pepper is on point the, everything is just perfect so yeah i'm gonna put parsley now and then we go into the potatoes into me i don't want to live forever because i know i'll be living in vain and i don't want to feed wherever i just want to keep calling your name until you come back home in my mash <laughs> it's looking good guys it's tasting good as well been sitting eyes wide open behind us four walls hoping you would call it's just a cruel existence like there's no point hoping at all baby baby i feel crazy up all night all night and every day Give me something, what do you say nothing? What is happening to me? I don't wanna live forever Cause I know I'll be living in vain And I don't wanna feed wherever I just wanna keep calling your name until you come back Just wanna keep calling your name until you come back home 